Hello and welcome to this exploring session of the In Town play. Well, plays. This is play seven, the Jesse Root, the seventh of ten so far in the can. We recorded the first ten plays as exploring sessions in 2019, and I do hope to keep the pressure up in 2020 so that I have the first half done by the end of the year, if not necessarily released. If you want to help that happen, become a patron today at www.patreon.com forward slash beyond Shakespeare. Your support is vital. Or you can buy us a coffee at coffee.com, that's ko-fi.com forward slash beyond Shakespeare. Normally I say here that if you've listened to our Chester explorations, then obviously there's another version of the play you can compare this with. Except there isn't from Chester, and we haven't got around to doing any of the others yet. There's a few references in play five of Balaam and Balak to future prophesying, but in that play it tries to get such things out in the drama of the play itself, rather in this more processional sense of action. There are lots of different digital and physical editions of the End Town play out there, but you can go to the show notes to quickly find an online version of the text, to follow as you listen at your leisure. Anyway, here is the first stab at getting into this play. It was workshopped with our Beyond Shakespeare Irregulars sometime in 2019, so there are stumbles and errors, but that is par for the course. More fulsome audio versions of all these exploring session plays one day will be released. And as we'll be recording a proper version of this anon, please share your thoughts or suggestions about where we go from here. Submit suggestions, clarifications, and passive-aggressive abuse, either on our Patreon page by joining us, or on Twitter at Beyond Shakes, or you can email us at admin at beyondshakespeare.org. The Irregulars were Liz Cole, Mark Scanlon, Richard Fawcett, and Alan Scott, and I am, as per usual, your host, Robert Crichton, and this is Play 7 of the End Town Play. Basically, this is a prophet's play. This goes before... All the stuff to do with um, Joachim and Anna. Anna and Joachim, etc. Uh, this is basically lining up all the stuff that happens. So broadly speaking, if we just work on a row going from profit to profit, I don't think anyone repeats, or if they do, who cares? <laughs> um, so yes, basically it's a series of profits saying profity things. Uh, so if we go as... Zayas and work our way right. round. One, one each, and then go back to the start. If you will start with uh, so Isaiah. I'm, I'm Isaiah first, okay? Mm. I am the prophet called to say, replete with God's great influence, and say plainly, be sprite of prophecy, that a clean maid, through meek obedience, shall bear a child which shall do res resist. Resistance? resistance? I think it's resistance, yes. Against foul Zabulon, the devil of hell. Zabulon! I like Zabulon. Yes, I, yes, I've not come across him before. <laughs> yeah, let's see, there's proper names. Let's see if there's um, something that pops in Zabulon C note. <laughs> That's helpful. Um, <laughs> carry on, however. Against foul Zabulon. Ag against foul Zabulon, the devil of hell. Many souls... Against him to defence, open in the field, the fend, fiend he shall fell. Wherefore I say, quod virgo concepiat et paratem filium nominem Emmanuel. Our life for to save he shall suffer death, and by us to his bliss in heaven for to dwell. A sacerdotal lineage the truth I will you tell, flesh and bud to take. God will be born. Joy to man in earth and in heaven the angel. At the child's birth, joy shall make that morn. Okay, just to pause there. Zabulon is from the Le Mystuaire de la Passion, um, which includes a list of devils, of which Zabulon is one, apparently. Huh? So, that's one. Uh, um, and Zabulus occurs with the meaning of devil in some other source as well. So that's, mm. that's interesting. Could you just do the last two lines of that again to give, uh, to give Reddix Jesse uh, his cue? His yeah. cue. <laughs> joy to man in earth and in heaven angel at the child's birth. Joy shall make that morn. Egredite Virga, 
the radish Jesse, et flos de radis eos ascendit, a blessed branch shall spring of me, that shall be sweeter than born's breath. Out of that branch in Nazareth, a flow shall bloom of me. Jesse wrote, the which by grace shall destroy death and bring mankind to blessed most sought. So bliss most bliss. sought. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, did we start off with two lines of French there, or was that Latin? No, it's, um, it's Latin-ish. Yes, yes, it's... Uh, <laughs> I think ish rather than... Yeah, yeah. Um, interesting. Anyway, King David, if you will follow up, please. All right. I am David, of Jesse wrote, the fresh king by natural succession, and of my blood shall spring our boat, as God himself has made promising, promises. Permission. Permission. So promise. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and as God himself has made permission, a regal life shall come from such poison that a clean maidy, maiden, maid. just maid. a clean maid mother shall be against the devil's false illusion with regal power to make man free. King David, could I ask you for an encore? Uh, and then I'll do uh, Jeremiah's prophet, uh, and then Richard, if you can do Salomon, and we'll just keep going round the circuit, as it were. Is that Solomon as in the Bible, or Suleiman as in the... I think it's Solomon. I think it's not, it's not Suleiman. It's Solomon. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different set of plays. <laughs> anyway, King David. I am David, Jesse wrote... The fresh king by natural succession, and of my blood shall spring our boat, as God himself has made permission, of legal life shall come forth poison, that a clean maiden mother, ma- maid mother shall be, against the devil's false illusion, with regal power to make man free. I am the prophet Jeremy, and full accord in all sentence, with King David and with, I say, our f- affirming plainly before this audience that God of his high benevolence of priest and king will take lineage and buy us all from our offence of, sorry, lineage. Of priest and king will take lineage. No, it is lineage, isn't lineage. it? Lineage. Yeah. Of priest and king will take lineage and buy us all from our offence in heaven to have his heritage. I am Solomon... The second king, right and that worthy temple forsooth made I, which that is figure of that maid Young, yeah, I Ying, so it's it. Ying, Ying, but it, it means young, yeah. Because yeah. it sort of rhymed with king. That shall be mother of great Messiah. A vision of this full verily, I, Ezekiel, have al- had also of a gate that spurred was truly, and no man but a prince might therein go. The third king of the gentle Jesse. My name is no King Robius. Of our kin- kindred man shall see, a clean maid tread down foul Sathanus. And I am a prophet called Micius. I tell you plainly that thus it is. Even like as Eve, mother of... Who was, so shall a maiden be mother of bliss. I that am called King Abias, confirm for true that ye have said, and say also, as in this case, that all our mirth cometh of a maid. And back to the beginning again, Richard. I, Prophet Daniel, am well appaid. In figure of this I saw a tree. All the fiends of hell shall be afraid when maidens fruit thereon they see. I, King Asa, believe all this, that God will of a maiden be born, and to us bring him to endless bliss, rule on road, be rent and torn. I, Jonas, say that on the third morn, through death he shall rise, this is a true tool, Figured in me the witch long before, lay three days buried within the core. And I, Josephat, the sixth king certain of Jesse Root, in the lineal succession, 
Lineal. lineal. Yeah, lineal. lineal. So lineal, yes. All my progenitors have before me saying faithfully, believe with though in... Without, all, an, without an all dubitation? I think it possibly disputation. Disputation. Dispute. <laughs> give it, give it, give that last line another crack, Liz. Forthfully believe with Owen all dubation. I, Abadias, prophet, make this protestation that after he is risen to live once again, death shall be driven to endless damnation, and life shall be granted of paradise full plain. And I, Jonas, also in the number of seven of Jesse, wrote King. No. Knowledge? knowledge? Yeah, knowledge. Yes, knowledge that he, after his resurrection, return shall to heaven, both God and very man, there endless to be. I, Abitude Prophet, holdeth well with thee. When he is rank, risen, he, will, he shall upstay. In heaven, as judge, sit in his sea. Us for to deem what we shall deem. And I, Isaias, king of high degree, sprung of Jesse, wrote, Darwell, say this, when he is gone to his dignity, he shall send the spirit to his disciples. And I, Joel, know full true that as God bade me write in prophecy, he would send down his spirit, he wis, on young and old full scaly. Sickly, I Sickly, yeah. full sickly. On young and old full sickly. My name is no King Yoathan, the ninth yeah. king sprung of Jesse. Of my kindred, God will be man, and mankind to save, and that joyeth me. With you I do hold that am prophet Agi, come of the same high and holy stock. God of our kindred, indeed, born will be from the wolf to save all sheep of his flock. What is that, bollocks? <laughs> uh, I think, to be fair, that possibly may sum up the whole pageant. Mm. But let's... Um, uh, I think he's going with the whole uh, Lamb of God uh, thing there. Um, mm. Anyway, <laughs> we're nearly there. It's nearly over. <laughs> God, there must have been roaring in the hours. Oh, well, I, I, I think the logic of this is it's a palate cleanser. We've had a little bit of excitement. What, you mean the audience hasn't even bothered to come yeah, in well, yet? Yeah. No, I, I think actually this is almost the equivalent. Is it? In the last episode... Yeah, <laughs> it, it's, it's setting up um, uh, the for, for what's so coming. The story so far. Yes. What, yeah, well, it's the connection between the old and the new. It's the Old yeah. Testament and the New Testament are very radically different things. Yes. And this is trying to say, well, we need the Old Testament because we need to prove why things Christ happen. was Christ. Um, and that's sort of... Well, we need the Old Testament because having suddenly got hold of Christ, we need to get back to a little <laughs> bit of nitty-gritty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was, yeah, that was with, Aggie. Of Jesse, King Achas is my name, that false, falsely worshipped idolatry. Till Isaiah put me in blame and said a maid should bear Messiah. Of that birth witness bear I, a prophet Isaiah's man we call. And after that tale of Isaiah, that maid shall bear Emmanuel. My name is known King Ezekiel, the eleventh king of this genealogy, and say forsooth, as in the case, a maid be Macon's... Meekness, again. Me may be meekness, meekens shall bring mercy. I, a prophet called Sophony, of this matter do bear wit of this matter do bear witness, and for truth do certify that maiden's birth our wealth shall dress. Of this noble and worthy generation, the twelfth king of I, Manassas, witnessing here be true testification. That maiden's child should be hmm, Prince of Peace. And I, Baruch, a prophet, confirm words these Lord and Prince of Peace, peace though that child be, all his foemen against him that press, write a grim sire, a doomsday shall he be. And on King, for the last conclusion, all things befallen said for Trouth do testify, praying that Lord of our sins remission. At that dreadful day, he has grant mercy. Thus, we all of this genealogy, according in on here in this place, pray that, High Lord, when that we shall die, 
of his great goodness to grant us his grace. And thus it mm. ends. Interestingly, the, script, uh, the book actually had a little genealogical chart to uh, help <laughs> explain how, how everyone was descended from yeah. everyone else, uh, which, is, which is lovely, very mm. useful, so you can see the, the logic of, uh, of all of the various relations uh, to, to lineal kings. Wouldn't help the audience too much, though, would it? No, but I think, I mean, I hope that... A, it was almost faster and overlappy. I also hope there was music, which would, I think, help. Um, I also... Love music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but you've got to remember, this sort of presentational, I am a such and such thing, is quite common in city displays and, and pageants mm. of, of sort of more civic sorts. Actually, I've got one in the lineup for the future of uh, entrances for King Edward uh, into cities uh, from Coventry, um, mm. which are quite, which are very much like this. Basically, you just yeah. stand up and do a speech. There might be a tableau, and again, we don't know what the visual element with this is. My chair is not very stable. Um, <laughs> I mean, the opportunities for costume in this are quite. Oh yeah, I'm sure everyone had silly hats. Dramatic. You get to wear um, a crown, a yeah, yeah. crown, a crown, silly hat. Mm. You know. Um, it would be the same crowd. They'd have to pass it around, wouldn't they? Well, well that's the thing is that we, sure. we, we, <laughs> when we've been talking about the size actually. of cast, I mean, a lot of these plays have large cast sizes, but obviously they can't be all on the car at the same time. So there's usually a point where everybody sort of brings the changes and moves around. Uh, with this, it's straightforward. You've got one person in place, one person who can get yeah. to the back of the car, ready to step forward and take it, and, and you've got a nice straightforward processional way of, of, you know, you almost don't need a car, you just need a very, very big stump. Um, you just yeah. need a car, you know, you need yeah, a crest. Just stand, stand on this table in the middle of the, yeah. the yard. It's sort of speaker's corner yeah. in that. I, I mean,